If you want to get in my seat, look at Exeter Enters next week and choose a few to run there. Go on, see if you can come <laughs> up with an answer. Right. We'll see you and don't put stuff. a 13-year-old in a four-year-old's only handicap <laughs> hurdle. Right, I think I know it all. Uh, but Betfair are all about changing the game. So they're sending me on a journey over the next few months to meet some industry experts, help me perfect my tipping game. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get stuck in. Welcome to Coaching Carter. <laughs> Good morning, Dale Carter. How are we? You ready? I'm good. I'm ready. Are you wearing that? Yeah, what's, what's, what's wrong with this? You can't wear those shoes. <laughs> you can't wear them. We're going to a yard. A horse I yard. Think I might have a, I might have a, I've got a spare pair. <laughs> right. Right. Thanks so much for joining me, Vanessa. I'm really excited for this morning. What do you think you'll be able to take away from this morning? Like, what are you expecting to take away from this morning in terms of that, like helping your punting? Well, I just think there's a few questions I'd like to ask, and I think a lot of punters would like to ask. Do you know, like, for example, do you know when you hear a trainer says he doesn't show much at home? And I think, what does that mean? Because all I see is numbers <laughs> yeah. and the replays of the videos. So yeah. to see them actually at home and what they're doing and, and get a bit more insight from Paul and, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I am really, really excited. So thank you very much for holding my hand on this journey. Yeah, I'll make sure that you know you don't go near one that's going to about to like bite you or kick you or. I am, I am looking forward to petting a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pet this one? Go on, go for it. Ooh. Nervous time. Don't be nervous. <laughs> go in with a bit of confidence. Go in with a bit of You're the one that's making me nervous. <laughs> right, let's move on. Here's Brave Man's game. Yeah, he's on, not go a boy. We know he's not a boy. Now. Nice, gentle confidence. There he's we go. That's the other thing you'll see today. Loads of different shapes and sizes. Like, you think when you're watching them on the telly that all horses yeah, roughly you, look you the same. Don't, that's what I mean when you do watch the race on TV and stuff. You don't get that. That's what I'm looking for today as well. Different sizes between hurdlers and chasers. Yeah. And, and when you're having a punt, you're not really focused on that either, are you? you no. know, you're focused on hoping he gets over the bloody line first. This is a tractor, Daryl. <laughs> I'm not totally useless. <laughs> <laughs> These are the real stars of the show, Daryl. These are the dogs. Paul, <laughs> right. an obvious Morning. star of the show, but the dog's pretty important. Morning, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. good um, well, he's already petted the pony. He's very Is excited it? about that. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Did stroke brave man's game. Yeah. Yeah. Gave him a pet. Yeah. yeah. Gave him a little you pet. Like you want Demon in there? You took your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> I was under the impression it was sort of up and down a, a gallop. Everyone does the same yeah. thing. So they all do different. They're all tailored to do. It was actually Monday. We do quite a lot of schooling. So anything centred this weekend is going to have a little jump. Most of the rest of them will do two canters up the hill. Yes. The field. So we're going to see plenty jump in. They've got entries this week. Whether they run or not, we'll still try and school them on a Monday before they run. Um, so there's, about, there's 150 in, in full work in the two yards. And obviously there's horses that ran over the weekend. Probably go for a walk today. That's a nice horse, Henry II, who's about to go novice chasing. I told you you were big, but that's nice big horse. And that's what, like, that is the knowledge that these yeah. trainers have and Clifford has, is they know them so well that, like, if he did come out and he wasn't like this, like, he's just said they'd be thinking, oh, there's something up with him. But that's, like, that real day-to-day -day knowledge. OK, right, come on, let's go. Get in the truck. We're all off going to see all his work and some schooling, all right? This is the good bit. This is it. <laughs> Let's see the magic. This is where it happens, yeah. These ones that are going to canter down now, we're going to have a look at them again, they're all going to have a little warm up. And when they trot around there for the canter back, at least I can see if one's a little bit sore, if he's yeah. not saying, look at them. You come in with me. Look at them. <laughs> okay, trot on. They're going to have a little school today. Um, so we always try and give them a little jump. If they're going to run during the week. We can see all that lot there trotting around there nicely. Absolutely right as rain. So here, Dara, you see like, these are all, they're all trotting with rhythm and yeah. very level and there's no, you wouldn't be able to pick a fault in any of them soundness wise. Okay, next time we jump off, good strong canter back, <clears throat> alternate sides. So these horses we're looking at here, they're, they're going to be running over different trips. Yeah, and all distances. different trips and they're all, they're all different, you know, we, you get to learn. Jesus. 
can see them now. That's, got, oh, that's... See, that. but they're only doing a good strong canter, that's nothing. I mean, we, when they work, they would literally sprint back in pairs. They're, 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 you know, so they've come down and a warm up, and then we're going to go back in a minute and they're going to go in our school and all have a jump, but they've had a nice warm up. Sometimes I think horses don't actually um, get better year on year. The actual thing is, as they get older, you get them fitter. That's why they yeah. get better. Yeah. You know, you can't do massive amount of work when they're four and five, but sometimes you then, strengthen you up. Can, you can do more work with them. They get fitter, so they look better. But actually, they've always had that natural ability, but you minded them a bit. Fitness is the key to a lot of it. What are you surprised about so far, Daryl, from what you've seen thus far? Well, I just enjoyed the power I felt as they went past there, and then he said they're only doing a... Doing <laughs> they were literally doing a strong cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go and see some jumping. Jumping? Yes. Yeah. It, tell me which one you'd fancy riding. <laughs> so next lot, we're actually schooling some novice chasers. Tom oh, Lacey had it. That's, um, that's my bread and butter, that. Um, that's what you love, is it? That's what I love, um, novice chasers, yeah. Oh, this is deep, isn't it? Hey, yeah, this, this is, is deep. Work in here. Well, it's just safe. It's safe, that's the thing. With this being quite a deep surface, Paul, does this help horses jump out of soft ground? Well, no, this basically is, it's, it's not actually, it's, it's just that the, it's, it's a great surface. You're not going to hurt themselves on it, you know? So, Paul, talk us through exactly what you want to see here from these just, horses. Just see them, like, you'll see these are jumping really nicely. This is going to be a really stupid question. Did I get dizzy? And <laughs> well, we do, yeah. Well, we do, yeah, because <laughs> no, I was just... No, 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 not at all, no, no, no. No, no. You okay, can cut, work! You can cut that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a real dizzy question. <laughs> <laughs> you got your dancing shoes on? <laughs> you should see what I had on before. Yeah. So we now put some barrels in there, just makes them have a little look and gives them something a little bit more to jump, but also makes them have a really good look into the bottom. You can see they bring their front end up. That's normally what I'm looking for in, in, in see, places that in strong. Tight, then, beautiful. Yeah. If like. they can get in tight and then get out of it, yeah. you know, it's... Uh, Woo! Beautiful. So that's that just was, job that done. Was yeah, it's a job done. So you can place. go help get the barrels yeah, out. Yes. Go on, go be useful. You can't be stood around here doing nothing. <laughs> Where do you want these barrels? Fifty quid. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say if a horse has won first time out, they're likely like if you like for example when I'm looking at a form book for a, of a horse, if I'm looking at seeing a horse that's finished perhaps he won first time out two years ago last year he was a narrow second first time out. Would you? Are they, are they likely just to perform well first time yeah, out? Some horses, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some do, some do do that. So he's never run over hurdles that lad. He ran in a couple of bumpers. This horse obviously won the Scottish Champion Hurdle, so you'll see a bit of difference between the two. He's always fresh and well, that horse, too. I think you're one of the trainers that's so reliable for a punter that when you target something, you target. Like, you can guarantee Woo. that your horse is going to be Woo. going extremely Woo. close. Yeah. Well, know. that's what, you, you know, with the novice hurdlers and things like that, like, it doesn't matter. But it's because they, they'll win, they win in turn. But the, when you target races, go for races, you want them ready. And I've seen you a lot on uh, Ditchy <coughs> Decks with, uh, with Barry. Yeah. And... Like, do you feel like you, you, you've got a good relationship with punters? Because I always feel when I watch that, that if you're, you're saying something, you're saying it, like it's worth taking note of well, what you're saying. Say it as it is. Yeah, it? say it as it is, people, yeah. You know, and the thing is, at the end of the day, horses win when you don't expect them to, and vice versa, you can't, you, it's not an exact science. No. You know, but what, you know, like to think that when we go for, for the good races, like when Frodon goes for the Badger Owls chase this year, like he won actually, first time out, he'll be ready. Yeah. You'll know full well he'll be ready. Yeah. Good, that's it for now. <laughs> They're all fresh, those horses. Is that a good sign, is it? Yeah. It's just amazing, I think, today to see how many things you have going on. Yeah. Like your head must. Yeah, be. it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not easy. So this is the famous hill gallop that I'd say every winner I've trained has been up here. And this, this gallop was here from when I first started. When I first started, actually, it was wood chip, which was a disaster. But now we've got, it's the Martin Collins gel track on this, is designed for this. There's 10 inches of it on top of porous tarmac. You can imagine how fit it gets the horses. Daryl, can you imagine thing. running up here? Walking up here, no. <laughs> we've got the chasers this time. So, Daryl, you've seen a few of them spin around now. Yes, I have, yeah. What, what? Are your sort of takeaways from this situation? I, I mean, my takeaways are that, it, that so many horses have such different techniques when they come into the, to the hurdles. For example, Paul showed us earlier the, 
the flat the former flat horse and how they're jumping yeah. and uh and compared to the national hunt bread and you can it's, you can you can really see it when you're stood here yeah Harry's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> what are they doing? Hello, Hen. We're teaching Daryl how to be a professional punter. That's what we're doing. Professional punter? But no. he is a professional punter. <laughs> it's still, it's a... to learn there? He loves to nah. <laughs> these are brand new specifically for you, Mr. Cobden. And they left them in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just lose a shoe then? Yeah. Okay, whoa. I think you just lost a shoe over there. Someone just uh, just over off there, the lads. bend. Over there, just... See that? That's the that's the eagle eye you've got to have for there. So you see. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Hey, eh? spotted that. Can that I? <laughs> <laughs> just shows how much power goes through that leg. Eh? That was yeah, just bent that, that shoe. Off. Jesus, look. That's what's And now we've only been hammered on what yeah, a few days I ago. Don't know or something. Who would do, could be not. You wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I can keep that one. When Hitman wins a big race, you say, "I've got one of his shoes." Yeah, absolutely. Go on it. So there's another thing you probably need. So that is a big heavy steel shoe. You feel the weight of that. Yeah. So you never race in them. They when they race, race they have aluminium plates that are weightless basically. Because that'd be like you run with a pair of Wellingtons on. So why do they not train in aluminium ones? Why because they they, the aluminium ones would wear out on the road in, in a week. It's these are steel shoes and these these are last some also like, that's a fairly new shoe. That'd last a month. But for me it's all about the puzzle and this is just another, like today is an absolute massive piece of the puzzle to see all this. Another champion trainer at ship, right? Jockey, Cobden wins the jockey title and Brave Man Game gets up in the last straw in the Gold Cup. No, that'd be, we'll, we'll go with that. I'd, I'd have the Brave Man's Game over the rest of it. Oh. Okay, this is where the magic happens, sort of, anyway. God. Here he is, master at work. Look at this for service. Paul oh, look at that. Thank look you. That. Even no got worries. the right mug too. No worries. Wow. Right, so right. this is it. This is it. This is the operation rooms. Okay, so talk us through then, from your point of view, when you're sat up here every morning, what's the first port of call? Entries? It can be anything. Entries, uh, declarations, messages from people. Like for now, for example, Five days, this is uh, Monday, Saturday, Sunday's entry is shut, 12 o'clock today. Uh, Does it I, tell you the horses that are entered? Yeah, look, so I can click on here, look, Newton Abbott, people don't even realise, so at this stage, there's, there was nine a minute ago, two have come out, and that's what I can see in, in, in there at the moment. So, so I can, it, so I can be studying that all the time. For you, or well, do you know about these other, uh, are these, are these other it's, horses? It's just studying what's going to run and seeing if you're going to get in. And you might look at a race. So if you declare, after, at 9.30, if you declare, you're in. You've got a run. In effect, you're... Yeah, like when I'll look at a race, I'll sit there and obviously go through every single runner and look at the form and see, you know, work out who I think should be favourite, who shouldn't be. Is there any, I know you're extremely busy, you don't have that sort of time, but is there a part of you that has a quick look at the form and oh, you always do because chances? You know, I could look, so I, I could, I'm giving you just an example, just bath, but this, this is on a flat, so it doesn't really count to me because I don't even know what, what, what form, the, but I'd be marking them off, I'd mark my runners off in a blue like that, and I'd see what's declaring and mark them off. And I know with the jumpers, the form and what I think of mine, whether it's worth going or I might think, oh, we're not going to be that, it's pointless. Yeah. So you leave it for another day. So, so you, you always, yeah, you, oh, you've got to say, you wouldn't just run yeah. blind. I didn't expect you to, to be looking at the other horses and being, I thought it would be a numbers game. I know you've got, so, you got to study but it. Yeah, but that's quite surprised me that you, you're very much in the form book as, as much as I suppose myself. Well, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say in the form book, I've just got that knowledge of looking at it. And if I, if I do want to look one up, you just click, it's all in front of me, racing post, name and horse, oh yeah. Mm, you know, you, all the information's yeah. there. But it surprised me because of how much we've seen today and how many things you've got going on. Oh, you're you've still got, yeah. so partic yeah. particular about what you're doing. Do you want to get in my seat? Look at Exeter entries next week and choose a few to run there. Go on, see if you can come up <laughs> with an answer. Right. We'll see you already. And don't put stuff. a 13-year-old in a four-year-old's only handicap hurdle. <laughs> Wait, where's your list? There we are. There's, this, there's this a novice list, yeah? hurdlers there, look. Right. And there's a maiden hurdle. Find, find one of them to go in there. A win. Oh, the only horse I had in mind was Captain Teague. I'd already planned Where it. are you going to go with him, then? Cheltenham. Ballymore novice trial yeah. Cheltenham November meeting. Which is exactly what Hermes Allen did yeah. last year and then went to the Chalo. Yeah. That's there what, is the what. option of the Supreme Trial there if you wanted to drop him back no, in two no, miles. No, I, 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 he's not a two miler. No, he looked like a two So that, that two would, I, 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 you know, you, if you did anything, you'd be going up in drip. Yeah. 
But you got that one right. Yes, there you go. That's technically a pass. Well, that's in your opinion, but yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> you might get the job for a week, but anyway. Well, you know, I showed you the heavy shoes that came off that horse earlier on, how heavy they are for work shoes. Yeah, the one my eagle eye Yeah, well, look at the weight of that. It's a racing plate, what they actually race in. Jeez. Featherweight, isn't it? So you can never race in those big shoes because it would be like you running around with the boots you've got on today. <laughs> but, so, and that actually boots. is the plate that Frodo on won last year's Badger Elves Chasing. You're so joking. you keep that one. Oh, yes. Well, this has been a very enjoyable morning, everyone. I, even I've learned something on this trip, Paul. So thanks so much for having us. Thanks, it's been, no, it's been good thoroughly morning. enjoyable. We'll see you next good time. You. Thanks, Thank William. you so much. Enjoy that? Honestly, oh, mate, that was like, that's everything for me. Like, that's a dream come true, and that's no joke. I've had the best time, so good. I can't thank you enough, mate, honestly. Good. And we're good to see you all. And come you. On, thanks, cheers. mate. God, thank that's over. I can get on and train the horses. What takeaways have you got from this morning, a morning with a champion trainer? There's so many to name, but I think one of the ones that, or, or something that sticks in my mind is that how much attention to detail that Paul has. Yeah. Like sitting in his office and going through the decorations and knowing about these horses that I never expected him to know about, I thought was crazy. And one other thing was, which I think will affect my punting going forward is, he mentioned about Getting a horse fit is one thing, but keeping them fit is another. So he couldn't leave a horse for two weeks. So perhaps that break to freshen them up, if you like, is not always the positive I thought it was. Hopefully it's given some people some insight at home as well to help with their betting, because we're all trying to learn together. Every day's a school day, Vanessa. I look forward to see where BetFest sent me next, but thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure to spend the day with you. No, it's been thoroughly enjoyable, and yeah, onwards you go.